he could never imagine that the mere everyday affairs, like giving a lift, or being given a lift, would involve such intricate psychological angles. The basic problem, he reasoned so often, was that of how the other party would interpret the offers made. If the interpretation was right it would work perfectly for mutual benefit. However if it was misinterpreted which was normally feared it would rub on both the parties the wrong way. Such an ultra-sensitive and generous person that he was his experiences in this regard were not conclusive enough to show him whether he should laugh it off or should be more careful about it. Quite a few years back, one of his office colleagues used to give him lift in his car after office hours. They normally agreed upon the nearest common point where he could alight and his colleague could also proceed homewards without any diversion. Although this worked perfectly for both of them he, while taking a lift often had the urge to make a suggestion to his colleague. Why don't you stop at my place and enjoy a steaming cup of coffee? Enjoy my hospitality on the way, he wanted to say, once he made such an offer. However his colleague politely refused saying that if they took the alternative route it would delay his reaching home due to more traffic that side. This made him rested and guessing, was his genuinely felt offer being misinterpreted. He thought his colleague must have thought well, this fellow wants to be dropped right next to his doorstep. Why should people take advantage of generous offers? However he was not sure. His colleague might have thought like that or might have not in refusing his hospitality. All the same he learned his lesson. From that time he decided not to make such offers unless something common was agreed upon mutually. Interestingly afterwards, he found out that the same psychic mechanism worked the other way around too. After fulfilling his dream of owning a personal car, he began giving lifts to office people, not in a planned or regular manner though, but at random. However over the months one office lady proved to be the most frequent beneficiary. He used to drop her at a common point nearest to her residence. That did not cause inconvenience to him, either. That such a kind-hearted and generous person, he was here too. He often had the urge to drop her right at her doorstep and he had an occasion soon to make such an offer. That day was very tiring. He worked very hard all day, clearing some crucial files, and got late. Same thing happened for the lady too, and she also leaving at the same time, he got into his car. Naturally lift was offered and taken. Sensing the lady was burned out after a very hard day's work he with. Real problem was that he could not be sure of anything. After dropping her right in front of her residence, he had another urge. He laughed all the way home 